Hi everyone, Shai here. I hope all of you are doing good. Welcome to another new video. Technology has already changed our world. I mean, who knew that we'd be able to click a switch to illuminate the darkness rather than lighting a candle? It's wild. But the technology we have today and will have in the future is absolutely insane. From 3D printing houses to robotics to help us in our jobs, here are some emerging technologies that will change the world. Number 1. Teleportation Teleportation always seems like something you see in science fiction books, TV shows, and movies rather than in real life. But could teleportation really be out of the question? Possibly not. I mean, sure, it's not possible to physically deconstruct ourselves in one location and reconstruct ourselves in another, nor is it possible to translate ourselves into data in one spot and reconvert it into organic matter in another. But in 1993, a group of scientists believed teleportation was possible in principle and wasn't against the laws of physics. More recently, scientists from China and the United States have been playing with teleportation as a real thing. They aren't at the level of being able to teleport themselves from one location to another, but they have been able to teleport photons from one place to a satellite 300 miles away from that starting point using something called quantum entanglement. This means that photons can share the same state even with the distance separating them. So if you change the state of one particle, it changes the state of the other even when they're connected. At the moment, this exciting advancement might only prove helpful in creating a faster and more powerful quantum internet. But there's no reason why it can't evolve into something much more exciting. I'm sure most people would love not having to endure a commute to work or school every day. Number 2. Artificial Intelligence Artificial intelligence, also known as AI, describes a machine's ability to learn, reason, create, and perceive. Once upon a time, these actions were unique to humans, and the very thought of a machine being able to use its initiative was terrifying. In fact, we used to believe that the day machines started thinking for themselves, they would take over and we'd be goners. And I mean, there's still time for that to happen. But right now, we're just taking advantage of what we've been able to create. AI involves computer science programming for machines to imitate our thoughts and actions to perform tasks humans would have previously performed. The goal right now is to free up human time and skill sets for less labor-intensive and monotonous tasks. We also benefit from less human error, higher productivity, and cheaper labor. We're not even at the peak of innovation in this sector yet. We're seeing AI used in various industries such as customer service, transportation, education, manufacturing, and even the media. Textbooks are being digitized in the education sector to help students and tutors, and AI-powered robots are working alongside humans in assembly lines in the manufacturing industry. In customer service, we can rely on AI assistance to find the things we need with systems understanding keywords to track down a product, service, or business. AI is incredibly advanced now, but there will come a day when we look back on this day and think, wow, we were really just getting started. Number 3. 5G and the Internet of Things The Internet of Things involves different things like software technology, and sensors all connecting and exchanging data over the Internet or another type of communications network. In most situations, they're all connected via 5G Internet. In fact, up until 5G came along, you couldn't even have reliability with your connectivity outdoors. 5G was a game changer as far as Internet speed and reliability were concerned. We thought 4G was great, but 5G is on a whole different level. We used to enjoy response times of about 20 to 40 milliseconds with 4G, but that can be as low as 1 millisecond with 5G. And do you remember how hard it was to get connectivity at large events when everyone's mobile devices were connected to one tower? Well, 5G lets us avoid that network congestion and tweet, Snapchat, and Instagram to our heart's content. According to engineering and internet experts, 5G has been a game changer since it covers a wide range of radio frequencies and has long-range connectivity. Remember when you used to have to put up with freezing and awkward pauses on conference calls at work? Well, those are a thing of the past with 5G. If you can block out all the conspiracy theories related to this text, I promise it's not giving you coronavirus. You'll see just how great it can be. Before moving on to the next point, I'd like to take a moment to introduce you all to my merchandise. You can support my content by getting your favorite products from my store or by simply joining my channel. Your support means a lot to me. Now, let's get back to the video. Number 4. Serverless Computing once upon a time, businesses had to lease massive offices. Sure, they needed plenty of room for their workers, but they also had to ensure they had enough space for their many bulky servers. Then, cloud computing came along, 
and we didn't have to worry about that anymore. Now, you might have thought we peaked with cloud computing, but we didn't. Instead, we've moved on to serverless computing. Serverless computing relates to cloud computing, but it has been a game changer for app and software developers. Rather than having to factor infrastructure into the development of their apps, they can focus on app features and code alone. Once they've finished their app, they can load it onto their computer and rely on an external service provider without worrying about building and maintaining their server. The best part is that serverless computing is scalable. You can use as much or as little server space as you need and scale up or down as your needs change. Serverless computing is reasonably new tech, but it's already evolving at a rapid pace. It's already a core part of next generation cloud infrastructure. Number 5. Biometrics You remember watching science fiction movies as a kid and being in awe of people being able to enter buildings just by having it scan their irises and fingerprints. It seemed impossible at the time, but now we have such technology being implemented all around us. We can access our phones with our fingerprints, and many businesses have also installed biometric security measures so that only permitted people can access specific buildings and rooms. That's advanced enough, but it's only getting more refined as the years pass. Now, businesses are using biometrics technology to make our everyday lives easier. Rather than carrying your wallet with the ID and bank cards, you'll be able to verify who you are in various situations with your fingerprint, iris, facial features, and palm. You might think it's a far-off reality, but it's not. Palm ID is already in many parts of the world, such as the Jiju International Airport in South Korea and Amazon Go Shops in Seattle. Once you've used computer vision technology to scan the lines and patterns on your palm, you connect it to your payment card. Instead of paying with your card, you can hold your hand over a scanner. Soon enough, making purchases will be as easy as finding what you need in a shop, scanning your hand, and leaving the store. It's mind-blowing. Number 6. Augmented Reality We already know what virtual reality is. It involves immersing yourself in a virtual environment with a headset device. You can play games and explore new parts of the world you've never been to before without leaving the comfort of your home. Augmented reality is similar but also different. It involves real-world scenes with only a small portion being virtual. You also don't need a headset and are in contact with the real world. We can expect virtual reality headsets to be less bulky and more streamlined than they are today, and have more and better features like hand detection and eye tracking. But most experts predict that some of the best and most valuable advancements will be in augmented reality. We're seeing those changes now. For example, the San Jose International Airport in Silicon Valley partnered with Google to test out R in a program called Tango. With it, they could project 3D maps of the city to help people preview their routes and find hotels. British Airways also partnered with the airport using the Tango program to project images in concessions areas of attractions in the city. Everyday businesses will also be able to use it by projecting online catalogs to provide better product views. Number 7. Blockchain Blockchain is complicated technology to wrap your head around. It's basically a distributed database that maintains a list of ordered records called blocks. The blocks are linked with cryptography, and each block has a cryptographic hash of the previous block as well as transaction data and a timestamp. Perhaps the most noteworthy point about blockchain is that it's decentralized, which means banks and other authoritative groups have nothing to do with it. While blockchain is mainly used for recording and storing transactions, many parts are now being evolved and developed for a range of real-world applications. For example, if we make money transfers over a blockchain, we could enjoy near-instant settlements and even eradicate banking transfer fees for good. Microsoft has also been experimenting with blockchain to help people keep their digital identities safe. It might even play a core part in healthcare, with healthcare providers able to manage their electronic medical records and clinical trial data within the blockchain. Many businesses are now seeing its value for security and money and time savings, which means there's plenty of interest in advancing it further than it is today. So, that was all for today. I hope you have watched the video up to this timestamp. Make sure to press the like button if it amazed you. Press the subscribe button if you still haven't subscribed to the channel, as it's totally free. You can follow me on all social media platforms. All links are given in the description. You can also watch other cool stuff. The playlist link is also mentioned in the description. I will catch you up soon in the next video. Till then, peace out.